Good morning guys! Welcome back or welcome if you're new here to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today it is February 10th, 7.53 and we're gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna begin with my pre-breakfast that I had this morning. Hey guys, so this is earlier me. It is 6.51 and I'm just jumping in here to show you what I have for like my pre-breakfast before my actual breakfast. So I just finished my workout and what I eat normally after my work is an organic Zambazon. I don't know how to say the brand's name. Acai Smoothie Pops and the flavor Acai Stripe Banana. So this is how they look. And they're from Whole Foods. And I just have two of them because it's like, like a nice little refreshing kind of little smoothie pop. I just like to squeeze it and have it as like before my breakfast because I get really hungry when I wake up. Like I wake up and I'm hungry right away but I don't like to eat before my workout. So I'll just have two of these after my workout so that can last me till later today. Now back to today's actual breakfast. First, let's begin with a little, just kind of what I do in the morning. So as you saw, I had that pre-breakfast after my workout and now I'm gonna make my actual breakfast for the day. Usually I'll have like the same things for breakfast, at least if I'm like in my dorm. If I'm back at home, I will switch it up because I can actually make things there more easier than make them in the storm room. But today we are going to have some oatmeal besides the oatmeal i'm going to have a banana and a nectarine and a yogurt that i'll show you in a bit once i'm ready to take that out from the refrigerator okay so let's get started making this oatmeal i'm gonna start by getting my my bowl yes my bowl i got my bowl and in my bowl i use just some quick oats if like i'm at home again my mom makes steel oats so sometimes i use those just depending what i want um i add a fourth cup of the quick oats i don't know it's like a fourth cup but it's like a little overflowing i guess i refill this up and now like my little measuring spoon does not fit so i have to put it on top then i have this whole little container just for this is just for my oatmeal what i also like to add is some flax seeds. So in the flax seeds, I add half a teaspoon of that in there. You can see my oatmeal that I'm making. I need some. I need. I need something. I'll be right back. I, I just use so you can see. So I have a fourth cup of oats, half a teaspoon of flax seeds in there already, and then I add some chia seeds. So I'll add another half teaspoon of that and then i add my sweetener of choice i usually choose the raw sugar um i also sometimes have brown sugar but i bought these and i just want to use them up so i have two of the little packages and a dash of cinnamon or a sprinkle of cinnamon i don't measure that one the actual liquid that i add it's sometimes almond milk or like any type of like dairy free milk but i also use water so today i'm just gonna like like this week i've only been using water so that's what i'm gonna do because i do have i think it's like coconut almond milk i think but today i just want to do a water i can also i also can never get the right amount of water i don't measure it i just go based off of what i think seems correct and then i add more or add less or not add less i guess but i add more if i need to so now it's time to actually cook the oatmeal While the oatmeal cooks, I like to cut up my strawberries that I'm using. Oh, I think it's done. So I'll take the toppings for my oatmeal and I'll get those ready. And now we just gotta stir the oatmeal. Oh, actually, today I might have gotten the correct consistency I like. So this is how my oatmeal is looking. It looks a little, looks a little gross, but it's delicious. And I'll add some blueberries on there. 
So now it's time to cut up my strawberries. I'm always so bad at this because I have a cutting board, but I decide to never use the cutting board and cut just on my hand, which is probably not the safest things to do. But I cut my strawberry in four, then I just chop it up and then cut it in there. I'm also like so hungry. Like, I don't know if I said this already, but I wake up and the first thing I think of is what am I going to have for breakfast? Which I already know what I'm going to have. But I just want to eat right away because I wake up hungry. I've been doing two strawberries, but because they're they were pretty big but i think today i'm gonna do three just because these are a little smaller like look at them they're so tiny they used to hate oatmeal like the texture of it was so bad but i think i don't know when it was when i started actually eating oatmeal it's been a while now like at some point i stopped but then i was like mm, i miss my oatmeal so i'll have it again i used to have a lot but <laughs> yeah so let me just show you the rest of the toppings i add on there this is what we have right now i don't know if you can see we go we got some strawberries blueberries on there and then what i add is a tablespoon of walnuts again it's not really measured i just use it to scoop my walnuts in there some dried cranberries and then i don't really enjoy eating these because i don't know i bought them at the, i think i bought them at festival it's like a grocery store they were not the best it's dried cherry berry mix and i don't know if they're just they're just like hard not the best but this is how they look I just want to finish them up because I also don't want to throw them away. So I'll just add like a little bit. Like, this is not a lot. So the oatmeal is done. We have oatmeal, obviously, and the strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, those dried cherries, walnuts, and I just like to stir it up. So we got to combine it all together, even though it doesn't matter. No. But every bite has something of it. So here's my beautiful masterpiece. Got destroyed, but now I can show you guys without having it dry. Okay. And then now that that yogurt that I talked about earlier, so it's the I don't know how to say her name, but it's Kite 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 Kate Hill Kids Yogurt, which is probably for some reason meant for kids, but it's just like an easy thing just to have. And it's like this dairy free yogurt. This is I think the strawberry banana flavor. Yep, strawberry banana flavor. I got it from Whole Foods also. So that is my breakfast all done and ready. It's usually what I'll have like every day. Sometimes I switch it up between like the fruit depending. So I'll have like a banana, a mango, more berries, or an orange. But today, since my bananas are starting to get a little brown, I'm having that. And this is my last nectarine, which is also starting to get a little bit mushy. But that's okay because I like softer nectarines. But yeah, that's breakfast done. So now we're going to enjoy this. Okay, so... I just sit like in this part of my dorm room. I have like that side, which is like my desk area. And this side, I bought like a Target. I bought a chair from Target. And I just sit here and eat my breakfast. Most days, I'll watch like Full House while I eat, which is what I was doing this morning. Right here, we got it. I usually like to start with the yogurt because I have this weird thing where it's like something that's cold, like dairy. When I used to back to eat dairy, I was like, no, I got to eat right away or else it's going to get hot. So I have my yogurt first all the time. So yeah, now I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast before it gets cold. I'll eat my breakfast and then I'll go wash my dishes and I have some homework to do. So one of my classes is online kind of thing. So I'm going to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying till the end if you did. Um, I'll see you guys next week.